Cinema 5D at NAB 2017 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Kessler Crane, innovative tools for filmmakers. Manfrotto, imagine more. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D. You might have seen our reviews of the Inspire 1 and Inspire 2 and our educational series on cinematic drone shooting. Today we're here at NAB 2017 and I'm here at the uh, DJI booth where DJI presents uh, their new DJI Sendence remote controller. And this might be a small upgrade for some people, but for those looking to shoot professional drone footage, this is actually a really big thing. The big thing for me about this new remote controller is that you now have dedicated buttons for many of the settings that you usually find in the touchscreen menu. And this is really important because uh, sometimes when you're shooting, you want to change settings, but you don't want to tamper with the screen, with the touch screen. You want to have quick access to things like aperture, shutter speed, ISO. Uh, and on top of that, there are many, many uh, customizable buttons on the remote. So you can set your settings to those customizable buttons all over the remote. Another thing is that you can now control pitch and yaw at the same time with dedicated uh, wheels on the back of the remote. Another really important thing is uh, there is a focus control right on the remote. If you're familiar with the Inspire 1 and Inspire 2, you know that the touchscreen autofocus is not very reliable. So this new remote gives you so much more control and I think this will make my job as a drone shooter much, much easier. It also has uh, the connector to attach the new Crystal Sky monitors that we've been waiting for that give you more brightness and make using a mobile phone or tablet obsolete. And the connector, by the way, is cableless, which is really nice to see. The remote also gives you an SDI and HDMI connector on the back for live HD broadcasting. DJI has also announced a dedicated antenna called Track Tenor that you can hook up to your remote and that tracks the movement of your drone and adjusts its position with two gimbal motors on the bottom to always follow your drone around and give you the most accurate uh, image transmission. If you're like me, you want optimal image transmission all the time. If you have a critical shot, you just want to make sure that you always have this data, that you always see your image, because sometimes it can happen uh, on Inspire 2, for example, that you go out of range and your image breaks down, or you're like uh, close to a building and the image breaks down. So you want to make sure that you always retain this high quality image transmission for your shots. And this antenna, uh, make sure of that it has a range of up to 10 kilometers uh, in optimal situations. So we haven't seen any major uh, drone announcements or something like that, but those products, the remote and the antenna, uh, can potentially make shooting with the Inspire 2 uh, so much better and so much easier. So I'm really happy about these uh, new announcements. Uh, we don't know the price yet. They will be announced later this year. I believe the monitor is scheduled to be released in two months and the remote is about to come in the second quarter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.